Before I started teaching in, uh, as a reading teacher, I actually worked in a daycare center as a director of a daycare center. And so I did that job for a year and that was really interesting um, because now I have the opportunity to teach a course in early childhood philosophy and practice. And so a lot of what I'm talking about with those students, I'm actually drawing from the experiences that I had as a daycare director. You know, one of the coolest things about the field of education is that it's about learning. And I think as individuals, we're always learning something, right? And so, um, you know, to be a, a teacher where you're teaching kids to learn or, or to be a teacher where you're helping kids um, be excited about learning, you know, that's, that's the coolest thing. faculty at Niagara we have many roles right we teach we do research we're expected to do service and I enjoy all of those pieces but to get in the classroom and to be able to actually connect with students um, is is really awesome um, and I think one of the interesting things about being a teacher is that you don't know where your influence will end but one of my favorite things to do is advise students <clears throat> and so during advisement to have a student come in and speak with them one-on-one -on -one about what their vision is uh, for their future, um, what type of teacher they want to be, and then help them try to figure out what, what that would take to get there is really cool. And I would just really encourage people that have a heart for teaching to really get into the right programs and follow their dreams with that because it, it, it's, if it's a part of who you are, then you need to be able to, to do that. I do um, a lot of service, um, and I don't even consider it service, it's missions work in Haiti. Um, there's an orphanage that our church is associated with, and so I've traveled to Lakai, Haiti, to the Children of Israel Orphanage the last number of years. And so I'm trying to learn Haitian Creole so I can communicate better with uh, the folks there. Um, I could say, um, Como yi, which is, how are you? Or, Mwen Kontan Rekinedu, I'm happy to meet you. I think the accreditation is really important. I think it, it shows that we have the highest standards here, especially in the field of education. And it's not necessarily an easy process. It's not something that you just, you know, send in a paperwork and get. You know, we really look at our, ourselves and our practices and our assessment and how those assessments inform our future teaching. And it's a very cyclical process um, and it's very time consuming. And so for us to be able to say that we are nationally accredited is, is huge. You know, I think as a society and as people, we really need to look outside of ourselves and we, need, we can't just be in our own little bubble. And so, you know, the Vincentian, Vincentian mission and uh, the liberal arts education really helps us to be well-rounded, helps us to think about people other than ourselves and in our own little worlds. You know, I, I think that's all piece of the, a, a piece of the puzzle.